morning folks, this is Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com and today we're going to be taking a look at this guy. So this is the Isheen uh, E52-TX. Now I thought they were going to send me a spark for review like all the other big YouTubers, but uh, hey, I guess I didn't have enough subscribers. So help me out and subscribe over there when it comes up. So maybe in the future they will send me a spark. So um, in, a, in a Mavic this isn't Robert, but... Uh, I thought this was an interesting, cool little drone. So now, I think you guys probably all seen the unboxing of this. If you didn't, hey, go watch the unboxing of this to uh, see what you get in it. Uh, this is kind of a cute little drone, and for sub-40 bucks now, one of the things for sub-40 bucks, and if I reach in the trunk here and grab it, you also get the transmitter. Now, now what happens is you can buy this without the transmitter, and you can control it on the phone using the UFO app. But, uh, you know, definitely I recommend the transmitter. Now, interestingly enough, the day I'm doing this was the day Ali Shamo and Quadcopter 101 released their reviews of this. Now, you'll be seeing this in the future because I do queue these videos up because I travel for business. So, it'll be a little bit later in the future. So, I'm not going to try repeating what they've done. But I'm just going to try having some fun for it. And, and, fun for it? Really? All right. Uh, I'm going to have some fun with it. And I want to try some stuff with it. Now, I'm out here in the cemetery. It's actually Memorial Day weekend, so great place to be on Memorial Day. Uh, anyways, it's uh, kind of quiet out here, but one of the things, uh, if you've watched my channel for a little bit, I like I like the cemetery. I like doing cemetery flying and things like that. Uh, a lot of history here, uh, a lot of, you know, in a strange way, beauty. You know, look at the, you know, dew on the grass, the, you know, uniformity of all the headstones. And, and so, anyways, I just think it's a great place to fly and uh most of the time, there's not very many people out here. Well, actually, people that uh, you can do any damage to with these things. And so it's a great place to practice. So, because uh, this is a rather large cemetery, we have the, actually, another cemetery across the way here. This is the Veteran Cemetery over here. This is Lakeshore here. Uh, there's a spillway between us, and we've flown that uh, before. So, anyways, we're going to go, and we're going to play around with this quadcopter a little bit. So, uh, one of the things, I'm going to set it down here on the ground. And I've extended the arms. I am going to turn it on. And so it is blinking green. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to take my phone and I'm going to start the UFO app. And uh, I'm also start, going to start the controller too. And uh, I need to... It should just bind with the quadcopter because I've already done this once in the house. One of the other things I want to mention, the props on this are press-on. I mentioned in the initial unboxing, I thought they had Phillips screws, sort of like the Hubson. These just press on. Also, be careful. Don't be standing above it, because if you don't have them on tight, these will shoot about 20, 30 feet in the air and poke you in the eye. So, uh, so I don't know if you can see, but we're, con we're connected there. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, no, we don't want the camera. We want the UFO app. We want to play. And so we have the, the camera video on there. And uh, we're going to start video recording, I think. I think that's what happens when I press that. So it's recording. And we started up. Now, this bad boy has one key takeoff. So let's start one key takeoff. And I think we already lost the prop, folks. So we did. As I mentioned, we lost a prop. That baby probably went flying, and I probably didn't bring any other props with this. So let me go see if I... Well, let me stop the video here. And let me see if I can maybe find it. If not, uh, hmm, we're going to have a problem. Okay, so fortunately we found the prop. Uh, we put it back on. Uh, one of the things I've w I've read on the forum, some of the guys are actually painting their props or painting a marker on the props on the center so you can find it. I, I think I'd probably recommend that because the black just sort of, as you can see, meshes in with the ground. So let's give this another shot. So video recording seems to be on. One key takeoff. And we're in the air. Now this bad boy's got altitude hold. And so I'm going to push it out a little bit and bring it back this way. Now, I think this is, uh, you know, for sub, you know, basically sub 40 bucks with a remote controller, this would be a fun quadcopter to have. Now, it's, uh, I think I'm going to need to trim it out a little bit. So I'm going to have it hover over here. And I'm going to try trimming it. There we go. Now, that's a little bit better. 
And uh, now I'm going to have to trim it back a little bit. I over trimmed it. There we go. That's a good trim. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. So let's do... I've got a little bit of forward walk. This, this guy looks like it could be a lot of fun. I'm trying not to get my license plate in there because I don't want to blur it. Yeah, it's still walking a little bit. So I'm going to have to... Uh, Again, trim it out a little bit. There we go. So again, you know, kind of a little bit hazy morning here. We're, we're recording around the headstones. We're just kind of walking. Now I'm having to tr keep trimming it. So, uh, and so let's let's yaw, yaw it around. Uh, the picture is actually not too bad. I don't know if you can see it, but while I'm recording, well, I, I should have done a screen recording on this too, so you see seen the screen rather than just recording the video. But it's it's it wants to keep walking. But but the pieces. Let's walk it out a little bit over the cemetery uh, headstones. We're gonna kind of fly it out there. I need to take my other glasses off so I can see. Whoa! Let's stop the recording. I'm not sure if she ran out of battery or what, so uh, that just kind of fell right out of the air. I don't think I was running it that long. I put a fresh charge on it. Um, thankfully, we weren't too high. Uh, fell in the wet grass here. So let's go ahead and let's give this another shot and see, because that was a rather short flight. I should get uh, probably, I, I think uh, Quadcopter 101 got about six minutes of flight out of his. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Oh, we lost the prop again. There it goes. I don't know if you saw that. So, uh, we ended that. Why is it stopping? Let's do emergency stop. There we go. Emergency stop works better. So, we lost that prop again. I think I think it's the same one that popped off before. I think this is just a a bad prop, uh, if you will. And so uh, I'm hoping it gets in here. So you just kind of press it on. You really, really have to press. Um, so let's go ahead and give this a shot again. Put this guy back down. And, and that's why you don't want to stand over it. I mean, of course, you don't want to stand over it because you know it's going to come up anyway. But uh, you want to be away from it a little bit. So again, I'm going to start video, and then uh, I'm going to bind the quadcopter. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sink the gyros again and then rebind it. And maybe I get a little bit stabler flight. All right. So take this up. I want to bring this back a little bit. I don't know why it just dropped out of the sky. I'm recording. I'm going to let it uh, just drift forward a little bit. And, and see, you can see how it's just kind of let the drift do a little bit. Now I'm going to, ah, it seems, boom, down again. I'm not sure why it's doing that. That's sort of uh, interesting. Um, maybe I need to take it up a little bit higher, or maybe I need to stick it a little bit more. Maybe I need a new battery. I'm gonna, but the the recording still seems to be working, so that's what's got me a little bit baffled. Because again, so far I'm having a good time with this guy. Um, now the other thing I noticed: some people have rubber banded batteries to this. I'm gonna try that in the future, rubber banding some batteries to this guy. So let's go ahead. You know, larger batteries because that is a tiny battery. Um, but, so let's go ahead, and we're recording, let's take it up a little bit more, and let's bring it back this way, and let's bring it, it's, ah, the stick response is rather slow. The stick response is rather slow, and it's going down, folks. It's going down for the count. I'm going to have to try another battery on this, folks. I, I, I'm a little suspect why it keeps dying. So far, I'm having a ton of fun with this little guy. 
Now, now it wants to take off again. Let's see if I could, we can take off again, or did I lose a propeller, or no? I think it's stuck. Now, pressing this button is the emergency stop. Now, definitely looks like I lost another propeller. Oh, here it is. It just came off in the grass. It's this guy again. I don't know if that's part of my problem or not. Uh, let's give it one more shot. I want to make sure you're getting this in the picture, how I push this on. It just presses on. And uh, it's a little bit wet from being in the grass, but and you notice it starts again, so the battery seems to be okay. So I'm really not sure what uh, what the deal is, but uh, I definitely plan this to be a bit of a hack copter. So armed, I love the auto takeoff. That is just really cool for. And the response of this stick is is uh really slow right now i don't know why that that's so slow and it's going back down again i'm full sticking it up to keep it up i wonder if it's something in the barometer hold guys so i'm just going to kind of let it do its thing big delay in the stick time big delay in the stick time and uh here comes a car, so I want to make sure I, I go get it before they run it over. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of amazing here on a weird hour on a Saturday morning that there are people driving around the cemetery. But, of course, there again, I'm driving around the cemetery. So I had to walk up here and get this. And so we got this. So, anyways, um, this is a little bit what you can expect. Now, I, I think there's a, a few bugs in it, but I tell you what, for 40 bucks, I'm going to see if I can't work out the bugs. Because I really had a lot of fun flying this, and I think this will be uh, a lot of fun flying with the grandkids. And you can kind of see the FPV here really isn't too bad. Now, this is like a 640 by 480 camera. So it's not the greatest camera in the world. But, uh, again, just sort of as a messing around drone, and for flying around... And stuff like this, I think it's a, I think it's a pretty fun, fun drone to be doing those kind of things with. So, anyways, uh, hopefully you found this interesting. So give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget uh, subscribe button's going to be coming up over there. Hit me up with comments below. I'll have links for this and cards if you want to mess around with one of these. Again, I think for forty bucks, um, you get what you pay for, uh, obviously. And I knew that when I bought it. But it's been a lot of fun. So, anyways, thumbs up. Catch you in the next video. Cheers.